channel. Today we're going to be doing piggy tails in Stasi's hair. So I have done a video on this before, but one of my subscribers requested that I do it again because her hair has gotten longer, which it has. So I said, sure, you know, why not? So we are going to share our piggy tail uh, video with you guys today. So I just cleaned her face, so she's all nice and cleaned. Her drying powder is on, and this is the step where I would um, start either a top knot or her pigtails. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is comb the hair on the back of the head all the way back. You're going to wanna use your comb, and I use a Chris Christensen five inch face comb for this. And you wanna make that part right by the stop and you wanna go from like the inner corner to inner corner and then back from there. And then you're gonna comb the hair down, you know, for her mustache. So the very first thing that I do, um, oh, and she is on her grooming pillow, and you know, these are wonderful and they're really a must. As you can see, she is very, very comfortable because she has been using a grooming pill pillow ever since we got her at 12 weeks old. So, the first thing that you're going to do is make your part down the, the middle of the head. And what I do is I use her nose as a guideline. So I will kind of look at her face and look where the middle of her nose is and put my comb right in the center. And I don't use a rat tail comb for this. I, I just use my regular comb. And I just part all the way back and then I will separate from my part. Okay, so once that is parted, and I hope that you can see this on this angle, but once that is parted, I will make sure that that is lining up with the center of her nose, and it is. And then I will take a, my comb in about the very center of her head. So if you can see about the center of her head here, and I will make another part going outwards. She is so relaxed, she comes off of this. All right, so we're gonna make that part. Then I grab the hair that I just parted and gather that up. And you want to make sure that you're not pulling the ear hair, but that you are all the way getting the hair. Or you make sure that you're getting the hair all the way by the corner of the eye the outer corner of the eye without getting any of the ear hair. So I always pull it up and then I take my comb and kind of, you know, put hair back down there if I feel that it's part of her ear hair because you don't want that. Now, I am on a big angle here, so I'm trying to get y'all to see this, but I am on an angle, so it's going to be a little difficult for me, more difficult than usual. Um, but you're going to pull that hair or hold the hair out to the side once you have it gathered up. And I already have my supplies out. I use two quarter inch elastic bands and I use two 5 16 elastic bands. The bands that I use are the Armco and they are orthodontic bands and I really like them and so I bought them in bulk on eBay. And um, I'm not gonna leave the link because the link will change for that, but you can look them up. It's Ormco, O-R-M-C-O, and the different sizes have the different animal names. So Ormco Penguin is 5 16 size, Ormco Fox is one quarter size. All right, so after I have that section all gathered up, I will take a 1 4th size band open it with my teeth <laughs> and then I will hold it out to the side and wrap it around twice okay 
And then I will take, as a guide, I will go around that same area that, um, you know, like the middle of her head, which is the same, it like lines up with this part here. And I will part that area and then gather up that hair in the same manner. And then I'll go to the edge of her eye and make sure that I have hair from the edge of her eye. And again, no hair from her ear. I will hold that out to the side. Whoa, that scared you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> the, the comb kind of went down on that desk uh, kind of loud and scared her. Okay, so once you have that section out to the side, then I will take my other um, one quarter inch band. Let me see if I can position her where you can see this. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. And I will wrap that quarter inch band twice around this section of hair. And you wanna make sure that it's not too tight um, because you don't wanna pull their eyelids. And when you put the second band, it's going to tighten up. So you wanna leave these a little loose. And also you wanna make sure that you have enough hair in this section because it won't lay right if you don't have enough hair. After we put in the first two rubber bands, then we're going to put in our bows. And I am using our little um, Tiny Ties from Doggy Bow Ties, which is my favorite bow to put in for piggies. And I just grab underneath the rubber band and I situate the bow underneath that rubber band. Now I use both of the bands on the back. Um, I know that, you know, they put two bands on the back of these so that you can use one and if one breaks, then you can have another one. But I, I don't know, I just, I don't like doing that. Um, to me, it gets in the way and I just feel better using both. So I put both of the bands in my fingers like this and then I grab underneath the rubber band and pull that hair out. And that's just how I do it. Again, you know, I am not a professional groomer. I am not a show person. I just do what I like and do what works for us and that's that. Okay, so then your last step that you're going to do is you're going to continue with that part, that middle part, which, you know, is not perfect, but that's okay. Um, and you're going to part all the way to the very back of her head this time. So you're gonna part that down and then you're going to, you know, separate the hair on each side. Then you are going to gather up your separated hair and do exactly the same thing that you did for the first section of hair. So you're gonna gather up that section and then you're gonna grab your first section with your fingers. And again, this goes all the way to the back of her skull. And then um, you're going to put a 5 16th band around both of these sections. And I usually wrap that twice. Now you can see that this pulled it tight, but I'm gonna take care of that in just a second. And then you're going to do the other side. So you're gonna do it the same way you're gonna grab up both of your sections, keep this section over here, and then take your 5 16 band and wrap both of those sections together. This is what locks in the bow so that your bow doesn't come flying off when they shake their head. Okay, reposition her on her, on her pillow. And then, so that looks really cute. And then I'm going to take my rat tail comb. Let's see if she can turn around to the camera a little bit so that you can see. Okay, I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and I'm gonna put this in 
like right underneath where the bow is and I'm gonna gently pull it out so that it's not pulling her eyelids. All right. And then reposition the bows here. All right, so that is it. That concludes this video. Let's turn her around. That concludes this video of doing pigtails on Stasi. And <laughs> I'm trying to get her situated. She's like all sideways on the table and everything else. Um, but hopefully that helped. And this is how she looks and she looks so cute. She is adorable. I love her in pigtails. It's my favorite. So, hope this helped, and um, please subscribe if you are not a subscriber for more videos like this. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the, dis uh, in the comment section below. I am always open to new video ideas, and we love you guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Have a great day.